uh, day two of the Ukrainian Russian crisis. Um, African students are still here, still not much being done in terms of representation by the African Union or individual countries about the fate of the African students that are domiciled here. Um, we on the ground are trying to make some arrangements in, into how we can better look after each other and um, that is not going too well at the minute because of the panic. Some people are trying to make their own way which we are trying to disencourage people from doing this uh, safety in numbers. Some people want to go towards Lvov which is towards the Polish border but majority of that road is gridlocked right now because nearly a quarter of the country is on the way to that end and it's a bit more quiet this morning we haven't had any missile attacks but the news we are hearing is that the polish forces are already um trooping into the country uh, sorry the russian forces are already trooping into the country in, in mass and uh, there's skirmishes and fightings in pockets of the country these locations we don't really know for certain but the advice is that we should stay in our apartments and hostels at the minute I have information to believe some of the houses have been hit by um, uh, shrapnels and missiles, but uh, how many African students are involved in those, I'm not really sure. But what we're doing right now is just to tell people to be calm. We're organizing food and water and uh, we are basically um, analyzing the situation to see when would have been the right time for us to get out of the um, positions where we have if we notice there's incoming fighting but for now it's still a bit quiet but we are trying to get a plan b if moves need to be made um we heard um some snippet of news that the nigerian embassy or the nigerian government has promised to evacuate citizens how they want to do that we don't know because all the airports have been destroyed and um, the air space over ukraine is a no-go area for now and um but students are still here african students are still here and uh, we are doing the best we can to keep each other calm and support each other. But we're going to need a lot of help as the days unfold. Uh, we're going to need buses. If it comes to the need for us to evacuate, we have at least close to a thousand in this city. And uh, it's going to be very active, but we are doing whatever we can to try and make sure that we all live together. Because like I said, there is safety in numbers. People might get desperate and start to make African students easy pickings, but uh, to be uh, a deterrent to that, we are trying to make sure that we all live together en mass and uh, hoping that somebody will have common sense not to try and make a genocide. But we are still in good spirits and um, we are meeting, we are consulting and we are analyzing the situation. I think that's all for day two. There's still attacks going on in different parts of the country. I don't know what is the fate of the African students in those regions, but um, people that have sent us one or two things are letting us know that it's not easy and they are finding it hard. We've also heard that some of the students that have made it, uh, there's uh, a convoy of Namibian students that made it as far as the Polish border. We are told that they had not been processed as quickly as the Ukrainian. Some people that had like EU passports. We don't know if they will be allowed in without a visa, but we are hoping that they have been able to, to get through because we haven't got any feedback from them but we are trying to keep tabs on that development uh, that's all i can say for now hopefully day two from this area stays as quiet especially uh quieter than other regions of the country if anything else happens i'll let you know but that's what it is for now